Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today in 2 Chronicles, I read chapter 18 and chapter 19. And what I find interesting is in chapter 18. But let me give you the background information first. So Solomon dies and the kingdom of Israel is split into two different kingdoms. One kingdom is just called King of Israel, who those people are kind of lost and don't follow Christ. And the other people are King of Jehoshaphat, who follow the Lord and follow just like David did. So, you have those two different kingdoms. And King of Israel asked Jehoshaphat if you would go to war against Raymond Gillian with me. And they asked 400 prophets, and all 400 prophets say yes, go to war. But King Jehoshaphat, being a, being a follower of the Lord, said, is there a prophet? They said yes, there's a man named Michaela who is a prophet. So this is what Michaela said in chapter 18, verse 16. Then Michaela answered, I saw all Israel scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd. And the Lord said, Let these wait, these people have no master. Let each one go to their homes in peace. So what I like about this, it's not only describing Israel, it's describing people who don't um it's describing perfectly how the world is today. If you don't accept Jesus Christ in your life, you don't have someone to guide you and trust and put your faith and trust into something. Just like Israel was lost. Israel didn't, Israel was worshipping other gods and they were be scattered like lost sheep. But you have the people of Jehoshaphat who were following in the Lord's, who wouldn't be scattered because they know that Christ is there guiding them. And that's what I like about this so much. It shows the two different paths of Israel, who doesn't follow Christ, and then the people who do follow Christ. And it brings the story of Jesus into this, and how Jesus is represented in the New Testament, just as he's represented in the Old Testament. God hasn't changed so that's what I love about this so much, that it brings the New and the Old Testament together, and that's what I love about this. So I pray that helps you guys. Pray that we have a good day, blessed day, and happy Thursday.